practice and so it will show us, hey, you were showing up the first this many times, et cetera, so this is the local pack, the local finder, and then your, what's your competitors. So you can see, oh, I wanted to track this. So when I first started, that guy was first. And so I'm like, okay, well, I've gained on him in terms of what it is and the, the keywords. So, okay, here's my visibility. It's a program that just tells me. So I don't have the problem where all of a sudden I drop and I'm no longer in the top or I'm in the top three or anything they're searched by and then I don't know about it. So, so you always want to know, right? Where am I ranking? Where am I? Am I I'm 30%. I'm number one on, uh, on maps. I'm number one in Google. Where am I ranking? And that's what this is going to do for you. It's going to show you what percentage of the time and where you're ranking so that you can do things to change to make sure that you're ranking higher all the time. Okay, so you want to know how you're ranking, what percentages of the time. And so, yeah, White Sparks and Company, we use, there are other companies that do it. White Sparks, a Canadian company, I just use it. It's like $25 a month, but it just does it instantly as opposed to, oh, you know how you sit back and you're like, oh, I only got 10 calls this month from Google Business Profile. Well, this would have let me know, like on day one, hey, just so you know, you're now 60th. I'm first on this one, but I'm now 60th. That's what they're You don't want to wait a month to figure that out. You want to know immediately. You know, when we started not getting local service ad calls, like they changed it around pretty quick, where we literally were not getting any, like some of you, but they literally changed it around, and then all of a sudden, the next two weeks, we got 15 calls. Okay, so you got to be on your marketing every day to figure out where you're at, how you switch it, what do you need to do, how do you feed it. You also want to set up your other uh, profiles. Bing, Bing has the same thing. It's not as interactive, but you always want to set it up. Same thing Bing's, with Apple. Bing, Bing actually is pretty good. You guys might go, what? No, but you're because it's not. You aren't competitive against everybody else all the time. So Bing is actually very good to make sure that you got that set up for yourself. Also want to do Apple business because that's yep, another one. people's phones. Uh, some things with the local service ads. So we've ran into some issues where people are like, you'll if you notice local service ads go up and down a lot. Um, and they go down, and I hear from so many people in here, and I say, so what are you doing to fix it? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you're chasing hundreds of leads around, or your ISAs are chasing them around, but you're not going to spend the time that you need to do to fix Google or local service ads. Like, guys, get your 50 incoming calls a month, 60, 70. Spend the time to fix it. One of the things we noticed is everything's gotten more expensive. That's including these. So what they had set them up was their budget was $25. Well, the average leads now, yeah, whatever, 25. 50, 75. Whatever. So guess what you're not getting? Any. Because, because you just told them that you'll only pay $25 per lead. And it's a simple thing. So, but it happened because when this first came out, we could get leads for $10, $20. It's so just you, like everything, it's now more competitive. But would you pay all day $75 for a good lead all day long? Absolutely. Heck yeah. <laughs> so what is it? You know, where, anyway, there's all, so many And you only ways. pay for the leads that are good. So that's the thing about it is like, why are you gonna put it up, et cetera. You're gonna track the inside reports, everything, what you spent, the cost. So we put this up because like, look at the cost. The cost is $36 a lead. So as opposed to if we were at 25, we'd be done. So that's the checklist. Make sure you're checking your insights. Use call rail. Uh, if you're just an agent, just use your home address. Just uh, do it as a Hide it. service area business. Make sure that you guys are using this checklist. Go back one. Make sure that you guys are using this checklist to figure out your marketing with Google and local service ads. So just go through it. How many leads am I getting? Is, you know, look and see, where am I ranking at? How am I ranking? What was my last six months? How many leads did I get? All of a sudden you're seeing, oh my gosh, I used to get 20, now I'm getting two. Okay, that's something that you gotta continue to work on and fix because it just it goes like this all the time. But as long as you're, how many calls am I getting? Oh look, the insight's showing me that I'm only getting two calls on Google, but my call rail showing that I'm getting 60 calls. 
And like I was talking to, to Keller, I'm like, where are they going? And he's like, I don't know, I gotta pull it from here and here. Like, you gotta know that. Like, what am I getting? How many calls? Where are they coming from? Ask more questions when they're calling in to know exactly what you need to be doing to set up your Google and local service ads. And stay on it all the time, making sure that you are on the top of your Google Maps and anytime anybody Googling you. Do you know when you Google yourself, I mean, it's gonna show up different than if I Google you, but do you know where you're going to rank? Where do you rank? What does it say about you when I, when I type your name in? What does it say? Are things consistent? How do you look on Google, right? And then, what's your conversion? Guys, shop each other. Like, it is mind-blowing when we shop people. Honestly, I mean, you wait, remember when we talked to you a few years ago. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, yeah. No, he said he just shopped you. I, and he said it was really, or hey, Lynn, somebody just shopped you, and, and, or some, I think it was you guys, and the return phone call was no, no, amazing. No, no, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it was really, really good. But you got to know what's happening, right? So the other, the other thing is, is what is your person saying that answers the phones? Yeah. So Aileen shot somebody the other day, and she's like, hello, and they go, oh, go to this website and register your information. And they said, I want to know more. And they said, no, you got to go to a website. Go to a website, we'll set up a call with you. <laughs> so that's, and, 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 that's what's happening. And so the, the idea behind it, because I know what the bro a lot of brokerages are doing, is they'll say, oh, we'll answer your call for you. We'll give you a number. But it's a, just a person that they have up front that's working nine to five and they're getting thousands of calls. And so they're not gonna know you.